Hello friends and welcome. So in this video we're gonna compare eight tubes but before that I'll have to fill you in a little bit on what's happening on this channel and with my amp. So these are eight driver tubes and I've compared them in a two-stage amp. So these are excellent candidates if you want to build a um, something like a two-stage amp for like a 300B or a Type 50. In my case it's a Type 50 and um, I'll fill you in on that why uh, I've been looking at this um, but really we got eight eight candidates here and I've compared and took, took some listening notes and I'll share them with you in this video now observing watchers viewers amongst you say hey Edward you were building a three stage all DHT amp and these are definitely not DHT what are you doing well I did change my amp and the reason was that three stage amp had a glorious mid range and highs, but it sort of didn't perform in the bass. It didn't have to slam, it, something was wrong. And the other thing was my measurement laptop wasn't working because the PSU, the, the power supply broke. I need to fix it first. And then, I'll, uh, then I can measure myself out of problems. Plus, of course, of course I had a new output transformer and um, that output transformer was a bit of an unknown quality. So, so I, I, I would, couldn't measure it and I wanted to know what it was doing um, so I built a simpler amp just to, to, to find out what's what and um, that has been actually glorious I think this design is very good of this amp um, and it allowed me to test these eight driver tubes so I'll get into that in a second so this is a I think if you be, if you want to build an amp with a 300B well that requires a very good power supply which will be hard however the type 50 is a much easier candidate because you don't need as low impedance uh, power supply for it as a 300B requires, which is really hard to do that passively. Um, not impossible. Um, Lou Rita, who, who frequents my videos and who I'm in communication with, he has done it. Um, but most people um, built not good enough power supplies for a 300B. However, for the type 50, which if you find it on special, you, you can actually get a new production one. Uh, I think is a very good candidate and it's also a very good candidate for a two stage design. Now, that design will be in the next video and in an upcoming video, I'll share the schematic. Um, it has uh, that the lower, uh, it has a very low um, impedance power supply. It shows because it's very dynamic. Uh, it's, it slams quite hard like you would expect from maybe push-pull lamp, but this, in this case it's single-ended because it's properly buffered. All the return um, loops, all the loops, the, the current loops have been completely sorted out with this amp. Um, I only took a day to build it. Um, so I think it's a very good, very nice project for those who are interested in a, in a tube like this. Um, and I found a very good driver tube. It's not a DHT. Make, make no, no mistake about it. With DHT as a driver, you get a whole level of sophistication that you won't get. But this gets pretty close. If you wouldn't compare it A to B, you wouldn't miss it. But if, if you know the sounds of a DHT driver or an all DHT amp, um, yeah, you will, you will notice this. But um, this thing sounds correct. It sounds correct in the room next door. Um, it, it has the appropriate gain, the, the, the total gain in here now is 125. Um, so, yes, so that's the context to this. Um, so, we got eight tubes, some of which actually I have uh, already have experience with in building a spot headphone amp, so a single stage headphone amp. Um, so they have quite a bit of gain, um, yet they have low plate, in, 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 uh, low plate resistance. All of these, uh, bar one, which I tried in Pentoad briefly, um, are uh, either Pentoads or um, connected as triodes, so that's the way I tested them, or uh, it's a pure triode. So let's get into these eight and um, I'll share with you what's what, um, else the video gets too long. So here we go. First tube on the table was the 6E6P. So I made a headphone amp with it, sounded really good um, for a uh, entry level you know, medium level, and uh, it sort of beats everything to 2K or something if you do something good and you take a good output transformer. Um, a friend of mine runs it um, with a pair of uh, Verum headphones. 
Um, there it works well. It doesn't work in this amp as a driver. And I think maybe it's because this um, tube wants to deliver current. Um, because it's a voltage amplifier, because I'm running it via an interstage in this amp, and the interstage um, reacts well to the plate impedance because it's only 1200 ohm. Uh, it's, it's 33 uh, times gain, so which in the amp is about, I think, 27, 28 times or something that you effectively get. There's no bypass cap in this amp. Um, there's no bypass caps whatsoever in this amp design, so um, we avoided that. Um, so the gain is a bit on the low side for the amp, but um, it just didn't work because the open secondaries basically create a flat load line where the only thing the tube will do is actually amplify voltage and deliver very little current. And I think some tubes just don't like it. So, for example, the the 4P1L um, that you know that is a very, a very good directly heated pentode. Um, it doesn't like it too much, and and this is another tube I think because I've just heard it much doing. It wasn't doing well here. It's just dull, uninspiring. Um, yeah, I had to move on immediately. I tried in the, the, another version, uh, which has some gold grids and so on in it. The the, the DR function, um, not much. Slight improvement, but not much. Um, then the third tube. So these are the two. Third tube here. That's the 6Z uh, 452P. Um, and, and sorry if I did the, the, the Cyrillic translation, it's the Soviet area of the tube. Um, it's sometimes used for phono stages because it has very high mutual conductance, very low noise amplification, and that was actually audible. Um, so it was very clear. Um, it was dynamic, it was quiet. It was uh, definitely less dull than these two. Um, However, it, it, yes, it was, you know, it was okay. And I'm, I'm not sure if I would build a phono stage with it, but it, it's, it was definitely quiet. However, it also oscillated. Now, the weird thing is, I'll have to tell you a story about this. I did, the, of course, something that is not so good for an oscillating tube, and is I used the wire wound as a, a grid resistor because I like the sound of wire wounds generally. So. Then I did something strange, and if any of you know why this would work, let me know, because I have no idea, but I found it out by accident, and I've left it in, because it just works so well. If this was the grid of the tube, I what I did is just put this piece of copper wire, and I soldered it on here, and I just left it floating in the air, and it entirely killed the oscillation, completely gone. And I don't know why. It's just a piece like this, like maybe 10 centimeters, 4 inches long. Um, bit curved I just put it on there it's just dangling there and it completely took the oscillation out I have no idea why but it worked extremely effectively so if, if you say there's no voodoo in audio if somebody has a scientific reason let me know but um, that 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 was my experience so that killed the oscillation and I got a good sound now then we get to actually what is the winner of this contest it's the 6C45P which was a close second with some of the others, so um, uh, I'll just reveal it here anyway. So this was my number two, and this is probably my number three. So these two were also quite closely matched, just different character. Um, but this was the order that I tried them in, so I'll, I'll, I'll keep to that order. So the 645P, so that is a, um, a tube with a quite low uh, plate resistance, which is nice for the interstage. Um, Amplification varies a lot from uh, species to species, but um, should be on average 52 times, so that gives you a great gain. Immediately I noticed with this tube that it transfers the emotion. So for example with Sinatra singing, um, um, it, it just it, it just spoke spoke to me. Um, there were, the clarity went up a no, a, 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 compared to these two, the earlier tubes. It sounds correct. It sounds correct in the room next door. Um, another thing, Pratt. So pace, rhythm, and, and timing. Very good with this tube. It immediately jumped out that that was... Um... Now, it doesn't have, I also made a note, it's not a DHT, but it, but it's probably a comp compliment that I'm even mentioning it. Uh, it's not a DHT. It, it doesn't have that touch and resolving aspect that a DHT has. Um, especially in the high end, so the, the, the high, 
it's that subtlety that you get with the DHC and it doesn't have that but otherwise it sounds completely correct um, seductive tone also I mentioned um, now I have to jump over to the, the, the number two spot why, why it differs but it, it has a seductive tone but it's a little bit laid back with the 645p some people say it's like you know high fives but I, I didn't find that I found out more about the e 2 adf um, then let's jump on to this one so this was um, I didn't try but I've tried this this was a Tesla e one ATF uh, I didn't try this one I did try two versions of the e 2 ATF um, but this left me a bit uh, disappointed the e one ATF I have built a, a headphone amp with this which actually sounded quite nicely whereas when I tried these two as a headphone amp they sounded a bit brittle and 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 harsh and so on I, I wasn't too impressed with it so I moved to the more mellower 1ATF and, and, it, and, it, and it worked reasonably um, not as good as this amp as a headphone amp so this you know so you get these different applications where they function differently but here the the bass wasn't there um, it did have a beautiful tone it especially came out with the classical music it did that really well and and the, and the reason why I also tested this tube is because some people advocate for this tube combined with a type 45 so to drive a, a type 45 so I thought it would be a great candidate because some very well-known designers actually recommended it but um, no nah. it wasn't too far off actually the, the, in, in some character but the more I listened to it the, the less enthusiastic I got about it um, could be the, the, the combination with the, the in interstage and I know maybe I need to run it at a little bit less current and, and, and higher inductance but um, yeah and then I moved to the EVO 280 and I didn't expect much because as I said in my headphone names I wasn't too pleased with this the, the sound character but compared to the E1 ATF the weight was back it also has a lower plate resistance a little bit more gain um, I tried two variants and this one was by far the best this one um, left me a bit cold actually National Union was a Germany produced um, tube E1 uh, ATF um, this one has SQ on it and I don't know if you can recognize it I don't have no idea what this is so, so you see here SQ or so um, that was the best sounding 280 that I have in my collection um, now some listening notes initially actually it was a bit uninspiring okay uh, the weight in the bass and the slam was a bit back and as I sort of kept going with this tube uh, um, it became more hi-fi ish so it actually sounded good um, pace rhythm and timing was actually good but it and it uh, it was a bit forward so and 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 if you would do a, a straight a b with some of the other tubes you would actually pick this tube just because you really um because it's a little bit not bright but it's 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 just forward in the and, and it details things out and um where this one is a little bit, little bit back but um, after a while you actually discover that the tone is far more natural the presentation is and you just keep listening to this one where at that point you just get a bit um, tiring and especially then if you combine it with something like a CD player um, and, and you put that down on for a while you, you just get tired of it so um, I think also intermodulation distortion is higher with this one than with that one um, I haven't met I said my measurement laptop is not working but that that is the effect that I seem to hear um, all right then we move over to the Soviet variety of the E1 ATF which is the 6C9 PE um, very similar a little bit less gain than the E1 ATF officially um, plate resistance is I think it's um, very similar as well it seemed to handle more current a bit better um, I think it's a bit more robust actually built um, from it. it's also slightly larger tube if you look this tube is slightly larger than the, e, the, the, the tiny E1 ATF um, so actually I liked it when I first put it on um, I said definitely not a DHT so that's a compliment in some ways it's not a DHT um, it was resolving 
Place rhythm. Uh, oh, one notable uh, thing was for classical music. This might actually uh, it should if you like classical music, you should rate this one up, because I found that the pace, rhythm, and timing for classical music was really good. And I I don't often have with a tube or an amp that I find that that Pratt stands out in classical music. So that was definitely something um, good. Otherwise, a little bit more uh, yeah, resolving, quite compelling sound. Um, credible sound next door also um, so yeah a, a nice tube overall so I would say maybe it, you know depending on your preferences would be second or third place maybe swapped over um, nice nice candidate but in the end I, um, of course I went there then I tried one extra thing so this is the A tube which is an EL86 much bigger tube can uh, deliver a lot more power actually not that not that dissimilar from the, this this uh, 6C45P actually has an 8 watt uh, dissipation rating, which is quite incredible for a, a tube this size. Um, you know, because the, the, these can, the, the, I don't know how they did that. Um, but this one has a low plate resistance, 1000 ohms. Um, that one is 1100 ohms, the 6C45P. Um, so this is the EL86. I wanted to try it because um, a lot of people also drive 300Bs with an EL84. This one is is reasonably comparable, but then uh, um, mostly in pent out mode. And I switched it in pent out mode, which you get probably 100 times gain or something. And uh, it was so boring and uninspiring that I immediately tossed it aside. I tried it in triode, which is only 8 times gain. Very low plate resistance, but... Um, yeah, the gain structure is not there, and it and it still didn't sound uh, anything special that that wanted to me to um, sort of reconfigure or use the interstate as a step up or something. It 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 really didn't um, inspire any further testing. So so that is a tubes combined. Um, I hope you find this useful. Um, as said, this is really a list of candidates of high gain um, triode operating um, tubes that you can use in a two a tube um, if you have something with a f um, an output stage that only has like a gain of four or three or something effectively um, yes these are very these can, can, should be candidates for you um, now as said some of these actually once they start delivering current so maybe if you have a grid resistor as well they might actually work or via cup coupling or so where they can deliver some current um, but as it stands uh, my my definite the three candidates that I would sort of advise you to look at it would probably be um, this one that one definitely and the E280F if you can find a nice one as I said um, this ran a bit hot um, you might actually find something that actually works for you since others have reported that it works but you might just have to um, yeah um, optimize its working point or so i didn't have with comparing a tubes of course i couldn't go all out in in doing the um, trying all variations this was just a quick take um, I mean, i'm very happy with the performance of this tube um, but all of the yeah the, the, these are some of i think you 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 now will have a, a decent idea of which tubes would be candidates so i hope you found this useful and um, thank you for tuning into my channel as I said in my next video, I don't know whether it will be about my speaker or uh, about this amp, but I'll come up with the, the schematic and, uh, and we'll, we'll go through some of the details that went into designing this. Um, I think it's a very good uh, amp um, and, and a simple project to actually execute, so um, that might interest you. So stay tuned for that one. Um, but other than that, have a great day. Thank you for watching this video and uh, I'll hope to catch you in the next video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Um, that's it for now. Bye bye.